Hello! I just finished reading Backwards to Oregon by Jay. Um, and, <laughs> okay, this... The plot is a little bit difficult to describe, but also um, this is an Oregon Trail book. Um, you follow uh, a couple as they make their way their way along the Oregon Trail. There's a map in the front and everything. Um, so it's mainly an adventure story, um, but there's also romance. The two main characters are um, so at the beginning of the book, of the book, one of them is a prostitute, a woman who is a prostitute, um, with a, a little child, and then the other. Well. <laughs> <laughs> They're presented as a woman who lives as a man, in disguise as a man. Um, through the book, the gender, like the um, the relationship this character has with their gender is a bit more complicated. Um, and I really enjoyed, uh, enjoyed it. It was... I was a little bit like a little bit uncomfortable with the use of pronouns in this book um, because the character yeah uh, refers to themselves as she and then is referred to by everyone else as he um, which is a bit like jarring uh, sometimes uh, which has also read, led me to just calling them them <laughs> pretty non-binary uh, from like what I've gathered. Um, but yeah, so it's a love story between these two people. Um, uh, Luke, the non-binary woman living as a man uh, character, marries the prostitute uh, at the beginning of the book and they set out on the Oregon Trail and there's so much like so much adventure um so many things that happen along the trail uh issues with um both of their pasts catching up with them it's it was a really fascinating tale and then add on to that some some very slow burn romance and it was lovely um i'm usually not very interested in slow burn romances i'm so impatient uh <laughs> but this one i really liked it um as i i read in uh, the reviews that it was slow burn so i sort of accepted it from the beginning and it helped a little um and I really just found it fascinating to follow them on their journey and like, yeah, the difficulties they were up against and all the stuff that happened. Um, yeah, it was, it's, it's a really good book and I recommend it, but yeah, there's definitely some playing with gender roles and, um, and like the strangeness of gender. Uh, I have seen this referred to as a lesbian romance, which I don't know if I agree with that label. Um, but yeah, uh, I've given you a, a summary so you can decide for yourself, I guess, if that's the label that fits this book. Um, but yeah, it's um, like the romance or the relationship is a main part of the story, but like everything else that happens is also like a huge part so like it's mostly mostly an adventure I would say um, it's the Oregon Trail it's from Independence to Oregon City um, which is so far <laughs> it's so far in a covered wagon driven like um, um, pulled by oxen um mostly walking the whole way it's months and months on the road which is crazy uh so i re really found this fascinating and like a good way to understand a little bit more about the oregon trail 
as a Norwegian, I haven't really had that much of like a proper introduction to um, to the history of the US. Um, I know that lots of people are very um, knowledgeable about this period of the um, America's history, but I'm not. So this was a really fascinating look into that and like what they would have had to do to survive and to get there, <laughs> basically. So yeah, there were yeah so many lovely moments, so many scary moments. Yay! <laughs> I had a good time with this book and I've been reading it for like the last three or four hours just to finish it because... Mm. <laughs> Oops! Okay, I think that's the sign that I've talked long enough about this book. Um, there's... yeah, it. I found it fascinating and definitely challenge... like, not challenge, but like made me think about gender which was really good. So yeah, um, that's what I wanted to <laughs> tell you about today and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.